50 miles from Papua New Guinea, the Carteret Islands are disappearing into the ocean. Climate change is forcing the islanders to look for homes on Bougainville, an autonomous region of Papua New Guinea. While this is a story of one remote community, scientists predict that climate change will displace up to 50 million people by mid-century. Most of our culture will have to live in memory. Cartridge Islanders will become one of the first environmental refugees in the world. We are an island community affected by climate change. The sea has moved further inland and it continues to do so. And when it goes inside, it's really, really cruel. It destroys our food gardens. It uproots coconut trees. It even washes over the sea walls that we have built. The salt in the soil destroyed our, our garden crops. Now it has become some kind of a desert. And now we are facing plenty of problems, like uh, shortage of food, and right now we are running short of fresh water. And the water level is, it's here. So the water line, uh, level is here now. My name is Kathleen Miley. As a mother, I'm worried about the future generation because the population is increasing and the island is getting smaller. We are going to the hospital. In a day, we see about 10 to 20 cases. When people are running short of food, they get this diarrhea because maybe they are not eating enough. When the weather is wet and we have these high tides coming in, there's a lot of mosquito breeding and that's when we have the increase of malaria cases. It is the life of the 3,320 people we are worried about who are still on the island. These families have a right. They have a right to live and they have a right to, to proper food. We know we, can, we cannot um, save the islands. So we are trying to, to relocate ourselves so that we can begin to rebuild our lives again. I'm Sandro Peace, and I welcome you. I'm Sandro Peace, huh? Okay, I'm starting with the boy, and I'm There is no need for an awareness. We just have to accept these people. They are our brothers. Now you must help them all. You must give them all some public space where 
He stopped inside that long place, bro, you mean. If we come here, we will not be the cartridge anymore. Cartridge people anymore because uh, they want us to be the team put people now. I'm feeling sorry to leave my place, but I'm thinking of my children. Our whole being is tied to the land. It is our life, it is our livelihood, it is our identity. To me, it, it means um, losing half of my life. And it is not just the cartridge. There are other Pacific Island nations who are going through the same fate. So this is a global issue and it, it's got to be a global concern for human rights, the rights of other communities in the world being displaced by climate change.